Back when I was an athlete, I was wearing sunglasses for my cycling and for my speed skating, for my running. I did not really do specific running training. So when Oakley released these, I did not feel like that was a pair that I really needed. I obviously was tempted. So immediately when I started training for my marathon, I thought I needed to get one of these. The Oakley Corridor feels great on. That was my first thought when I took them with me out for a run in Boston. It felt like I wasn't really wearing sunglasses and I also liked the style of them. It obviously could have had a bit of a more aggressive lens, but I still liked how it looked. So for the first 20 or 30 minutes of my run, I felt really good with them. I was going for an easy run, they felt good on and they were serving the purpose that I think is the most important when it comes to sunglasses. They felt comfortable on, I did not have to adjust them all the time, and I did not have to feel like they were falling off. When you're running, you really want to focus on the running part, not about adjusting your sunglasses. The issue that I was facing after just 20 or 30 minutes was that I started sweating. It was a hot day, the sweat was dripping down on the lenses, and within a few minutes, they were not really usable because I couldn't see through them. And that is obviously a big issue when it comes to sunglasses. So I went home and I thought maybe this is just a one-time thing. Maybe it was very hot today and I was sweating in a way that I don't usually do. I mean, bad excuses. I tried it on my next run and I realized that it was the same. I feel like this has been a fight that Oakley has been fighting for years of trying to make sure that the sunglasses are made in a way where you don't really have to take them off just because you start sweating. And to be honest, I've been so happy with the technology that they have provided us with. It has not been a problem with the latest models, at least not to a big extent. But with these, I it was enough for me to think, okay, I, I just have to go home and sell them because I can't use them for my running and that is why I bought them. Obviously there can be individual preferences, individual, face shapes, all of these things that can play a role in how you would feel if you were wearing them. But for me, this is not the sunglasses I would go for if I was running. There are three Oakley models that I would recommend if you were to get yourself some proper Oakley sunglasses for running. First, one of my favorites, the favorite that I've had for years, the Oakley Radar EV. These are really good for running. They feel good on, they're a bit heavier than the Corridor, but it does not really feel like they're heavy on the nose or on your face. When it comes to the sweating part, you might face some issues with these two, but not in the same degree as with the Corridor. The Oakley Sutro Light Sweep is probably one of the models that you saw the most during the Tour de France this year. And when I was wearing them on one of my 25K runs the other day, I really loved them. It felt good on, I did not have to adjust them at all. I was sweating a lot and still it didn't affect the lenses. My sweat did not hit the lens at all. So my number one sunglasses for running as of right now will be these. But I do have a challenger. The Oakley Hydra is amazing for just about everything. I have loved wearing these almost every day this summer not just for training, but for everyday life. Even though I'm sweating a bit, it doesn't really hit the lens, they feel great on, and they really fit my face well. What I would say is the advantage over these, if you're really considering your looks, is that your tan line will not be as big as with these. All in all, I would say that the Oakley Corridor, it's actually not made for you if you are running. If you just want some cool sunglasses, a very nice color, go for them. But if you're running and you want the best performance Oakley sunglasses, go for one of these. These are my favorites.